Hi, this is Mike with AskTractorMike.com. I get an awful lot of questions on this channel about brush hogs or brush cutters and, and a fair amount of questions about the blades that go underneath them. And what we're going to cover today is when do I need to replace my brush hog blades? And in my mind, there's, there's four different situations that would require you to go out and buy a new set of blades like this right here and replace the blades on your brush cutter. Now, we're also going to talk in a later video about how to sharpen the blades on your brush cutter, and that's an option. You can either lift up your cutter or get under there with an Ella head grinder and sharpen the blades, touch them up a little bit, and make them cut a little prettier. But today we're going to talk about when you just totally need to replace the blades. First thing I want to address today is a lot of people think they need to sharpen their brush hog blades when maybe they don't. And, and when I was a kid growing up on the farm, we almost never, I mean like once every five years, would even look at sharpening the blades on our brush cutter. And here's why. If you buy a finish mower, it's just like a lawn mower. It's designed to pull behind the tractor and give you a lawn-like finish. Very clean cut, high blade tip speed, a narrow blade, very sharp, and give fast regrowth. A brush hog, on the other hand, is designed to go through your field and cut your grass, make your tall grass short, but at the same time, get those woody plants and make kind of a rough cut on them. And I've talked about this in previous videos. That the desire here is to make a rough cut so maybe water gets down in the root system and makes the plant rot and leaves the grass and gets rid of some of the woody plants. That's the goal. So a brush hog blade is a lot thicker. It's, it's not near as sharp as a finish more blade. And it, it generally will move slower. So, so they're different animals. So this blade does not need to be as sharp as a finish more blade. But when it does need to be sharpened, the first thing you need to do is read your owner's manual. They'll give you a guide in there of when there's enough material out from this sharp edge here that the blade needs to be replaced. On these particular blades, the owner's manual recommends that when it's a half inch down, if there's either a, a cut a half inch down or, or when the blade gets wore, any one part of it, below a half inch below this straight edge here, it's time to replace. Now I'm going to tell you, I've watched a lot of older farmers, my dad was one, I'm one, that don't want to spend money until you absolutely have to. So when do you have to replace them? Well, you could probably touch them up until they're not further past that half inch mark, but you'll notice on, on almost all of these blades, there's a little curved up place on the end of them and, and I'm, I'm sure that's there to help direct the travel of the material coming out and to, and to lift it up where it'll cut and, and to, to aid in the air currents but once you get back to that you're done you can't sharpen that because that's going up and that's going to give you a funky cut and, it, and it's not going to work so what the owner's manual on my cutter recommends once you're down a half inch into this blade it's time to replace it but at the very least, when you get down to where you're sharpening up into this uplifted part on the end, you better replace those blades. Anytime you see a crack in the blades anywhere or any structural problem with the blades, if you've hit something and they're, and they're cracked, you need to replace them then. So, so anytime we're, we're really deep into the blade or we've damaged the blade with rocks, it's time to replace that blade. Now the second time you're going to have to replace a blade, and I get lots of comments from lots of people and questions and emails. I started up my cutter and it's vibrating badly. Well, a lot of times that's one of two problems. The, the, one of the more common problems is you've hit something and this blade is bent. And this, this blade is probably, oh what, 10 pounds maybe, maybe not quite that much, but it's heavy. And you get a couple of those blades spinning at high speeds and you get one of them bent a little bit and you can't straighten these blades. But once it's bent, it's going to throw off the ratio on the weight of the two sides and uh, whatever you call that, the centrifugal force. It's going to vibrate so bad, you better replace it because it'll damage your cutter if you leave it that way. So the second time to replace a blade is if you bend one. And that'll be immediately after you've hit something and you'll sure know it when you hit it. And then you'll know it when you turn the brush hog on after you've hit it because it'll about throw you out of the tractor seat. The third situation where you want to replace a brush hog blade, and this kind of goes along with number two, if you've sharpened your blades and you have one blade that's, that's sharpened a lot further into the metal than the other, they'll go a long time without being off balance and really making the, the, the cutter bounce up and down. But when you get to a point where you've got one blade that's really sharpened deep into this metal 
and the other one not so much and they get out of balance, it's time to replace both of them. And there's people that will try to replace one blade on a brush hog to save money. And if you put a new one on and you have the other one that's been sharpened a little bit, that thing is going to dance and you're going to feel it in the tractor seat and you're going to think the end of the world is coming. It takes a little bit of time to get them out of balance like that. But you always, if you're sharpening, you want to try to take the same amount of metal off one blade as you do the other and keep them in balance. But once they get out of balance, it's time to replace both of them. Now the last time I'm, I'm going to tell you it's it's better to replace these blades. If you don't do your own mechanical work and you call a mechanic to come in and sharpen these blades, I'm going to talk about the economics of replacing these blades. Right now, now I know we're getting ready to go into steel prices are going up with the little trade war we're in right now and, and different things like that are happening, but I paid for two sets of blades and I have an eight foot cutter. There's four blades under there and new blade bolts, I pay $225 to replace all of them. Now if you have a guy that's charging you $75 an hour to get under there and run a grinder, it doesn't take too long running the grinder, touching up the blades, trying to get them equal to, to get to the price of where it would have been better, just go ahead and put a new set of blades on. So if you're paying somebody else to sharpen them, uh, most of the time if they're that dull, it's probably time to go ahead and bite the bullet and replace them. Now if you have a six foot cutter, and you only have two blades, and, you, and get, the, get the new blade bolts when you get them, and they're expensive, but, but it's important to put new blade bolts on, that'll probably cost you about half that $225, about $125 or $30, somewhere in that range, to replace the blades on your cutter. Now, I have heard from some people that have, uh, one, one viewer in particular, that has two sets of blades on their cutter, and every year they swap blades, they, they, they uh, service them and look them over, and, and sharpen the old blades and keep them for the following year and they just replace them every single year they, they rotate the blades and I think that's a tremendous idea because that way your blades don't get just welded onto that stump jumper or that blade pan and, and are hard to get off. If you're changing them once a year it's a lot easier to get them off and then if you break a blade or bend a blade you have a backup set while you order another set from the dealer. So I think that's a tremendous idea to have a backup set of blades and uh, I, I, there's a lot of advantages to that. It's a little more work that I think I probably want to do at this point in my life, but uh, it's a great idea. So those are the four times when you need to replace blades. In the next video, I'm going to talk about sharpening blades. And I'm, on, I'm, I'm not an expert on sharpening anything. I don't think I've ever been able to get a really sharp edge on anything to cut well. And, and I don't think my dad was ever able to. We took a lot of our stuff to a, a fix-it shop where they sharpened stuff for us and paid them whatever they asked to get it sharp and get it right and it seemed like that worked better for us and us trying to do it. But I'm going to go to a, a place that, that is fully capable of sharpening brush hog blades and they're going to tell us some reasons to sharpen your own blades and when to do that and some dangers of sharpening your own blades when you'll make them wear faster and not last near as long. So that's the next video. I survive on web traffic. I'd be honored if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page and share this video with other tractor enthusiasts. And if you have questions or comments, I really like to hear a lot of comments about this because there may be some different ideas out there about when to replace blades. Put them down in the comments below and we'll try to get back with you. Thanks for watching.